EastEnders' latest update. Fans in meltdown as they rumble Cindy return date after Kathy comment. Star Navin Chowdhury promises new cufflinks clues in Christmas death mystery. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EastEnders fans believe a scene with Kathy Beale on Wednesday hinted when Ian and Cindy Beale will return to the BBC soap. EastEnders viewers think Kathy Beale has given away the return date of former villain Cindy Beale without her even realizing it. Cindy was confirmed to be returning last month, with the mirror revealing actress Michelle Collins would be reprising the role over 20 years after she was killed off off screen. Cindy was said to have died in prison during childbirth, but it's now known that for whatever reason she faked her death and has been alive the entire time. No details have been confirmed about her return plot or when it will air, but it's thought she is returning with her ex Ian Beale. How the ex is reunited is also a mystery, as well as her whereabouts for the past two decades, with her trying to kill Ian via a hitman when she was last on the show. Something Kathy said in the lead up to her wedding on Wednesday has left fans speculating there isn't long to go until Cindy returns. She was discussing her upcoming wedding to Rocky and told him and others who she wanted to be there. Kathy said, I want everyone there, friends and family, and it wouldn't be right without my son there too. I want Ian at the wedding. Viewers know that Ian is returning to the soap this year after two years away while he made a brief return in secret in December. Fans also know that according to reports, Ian will return with Cindy. So if Ian does return on the day of the wedding, chances are Cindy will be there too. The comment and talks of Ian coming back left viewers convinced Cindy would gatecrash Kathy's wedding and that this is when she will be back in Walford. Taking to Twitter, one fan said, Ian is gonna turn up at Kathy's wedding with Cindy, isn't he? Pass the popcorn, I am seated. Another said, I and Beale name drop in today's EastEnders episode. Eek, as a third fan wrote, Kathy wanting Ian at the wedding let's goo. It comes amid speculation Cindy could be the mystery ex-wife of newcomer George Knight. The Knights recently arrived in Walford and George's past came under question over the revelation that his wife was missing. It's been revealed that George's wife Rose walked out on him and the girls when they were younger, around nine years ago, while her fate, and what really happened has not been confirmed. But new spoilers have revealed that an upcoming episode will finally confirm the whole truth amid fans believing Rose could actually be Cindy in a twist. A new episode synopsis for the scenes airing on June 22 reads, the truth about what happened to Rose Knight is finally revealed. Now, fans are speculating that this big episode could be the moment Cindy returns, regardless of if she turns out to be Rose or not. EastEnders star Navin Chowdhury promises new cufflinks clues in Christmas death mystery. EastEnders spoilers follow. EastEnders star Navin Chowdhury has dropped a big clue pointing towards the victim of the Christmas death. Fans will know that The Soap recently aired a flash-forward to this year's festive season, which saw Sharon, Linda, Stacy, Suki, Kathy, and Denise standing over the dead body of an unseen man. While we don't know who the victim is at this point, Navin, who plays Nish Panzar, suggested that fans should keep an eye out for the cufflinks that are seen on the victim after recently filming some scenes involving them. I am aware that Nish is the number one contender to die at Christmas, he told the Mirror. I think the main clue is to follow the cufflinks. There's some stuff we filmed recently about the cufflinks, so look out for that and follow the cufflinks. It comes after fellow star Brian Conley, Rocky Cotton, recently revealed that the cast will film multiple endings for the flash forward in order to stop the victim's identity leaking. None of us have got a clue, he told Steve's packed lunch. I believe leading up to Christmas, there might be 10 of us laying there so that it will be a big surprise to us as well. We're all going to maybe film a moment where we're all laying on the floor, 
and then right up until the last minute, they can reveal on Christmas Day who it is. This week, the soap cleared up a big mystery surrounding the flash forward, as viewers learned how that big suit of armor seen in the scene got into the Vic. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.